Let's answer 15 item PEMDAS quiz. This may ve sound very easy to some, but we have to help those who are still confused. First, let's review PEMDAS rule. You can find them in our announcement, or we call it pin post. Ito. Nandito ito regarding sa PEMDAS. Asa na yun? Okay. PEMDAS, or Order of Operation, based on references, books, and calculators. In the U.S., the acronym PEMDAS is common. It stands for parenthesis, exponents, or powers, or square root, multiplication, division, or division, left to right, whichever comes first, and then the fourth one is addition or subtraction, left to right, whichever comes first. PEMDAS is of often expanded to the mnemonic please excuse my dear aunt Sally. In Canada and New Zealand, use BEDMAS standing for brackets, exponents, division or multiplication, addition or subtraction. Most common in the UK, India and uh, Australia are BODMAS, meaning brackets of or order powers, exponents, and square roots. Division or multiplication, and the fourth, their fourth step is addition or subtraction. Nigeria and some other West African countries also use BODMAS. Similarly, in the UK, BIDMAS is used standing for brackets, indices, I don't know how to pronounce this one, division or multiplication, and then last one is addition or subtraction. All these acronyms from all over the world, the rules are the same. Put them in one name called order of operation. First, solve all inside the brackets, parentheses, or groupings. According to the rule, number two, all orders of exponents, powers, square roots, cubes, etc. Number three, either multiplication or division both rank equally, so solve them from left to right, whichever comes first. Number four, either addition or subtraction, both rank equally, so solve them from left to right. Let's begin number one. So we have PEMDAS, okay. 20 plus five minus four. Ang nandyan ay addition and subtraction lang ang operation natin. Walang parenthesis, walang exponent, walang multiplication and division. Ang nandyan is addition and subtraction. So, sa rule kung alin ang mauna, nauna ang addition, so we will do it first. 20 plus 5, that is 25, minus 4, and that is 21. So, A ang answer dyan. Number 2. 8 minus 2 minus 2 plus 4. According sa rule, walang P, walang E, walang M at D, so A, S lang tayo. Kung nauna ang subtraction, do it first. Kung nauna ang addition, yun ang unahin natin. Kaso ang nauna dito ay subtraction, so we will do it first. 8 minus 2, that is 6. Minus 2, that is 4. And plus 4, and that is 8. So, 8 ang sagot. Another solution. Para mas madali. Ito, negative 4. Positive 4, 0 na yan. So, 8 ang sagot. Number 3. Meron na siyang parenthesis. So, isulat mo muna natin ang mga steps nito. Sa loob ng parenthesis, subtraction lang at addition. Sa fourth step, A or S, kung alin ang mauna sa dalawa. From left to right. Nauna ang subtraction. So, we will solve subtraction first. 8 minus 3, and that is 5. 5 plus 5, and that is 10. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay equals to 10. Sa loob ng parenthesis, parenthesis ay 10 siya. Next, 10 plus 4 minus 2 plus 10. So, ito pa rin. Kung alin ang nauna. Nauna ang, ang addition bago ang subtraction. So, unahin natin yan. 10 plus 4 and that is 14 minus 2 and that is 12 plus 10 and our answer is 22, letter C. 
Number four, may apat na operation na tayo. So, first, isulat natin yung steps para may guide tayo. Okay. May multiplication at division na sa third step. Kung alin ang mauna. Kung nauna ang multiplication, unahin natin. Kung nauna ang division, unahin natin. Ngayon, nauna ang multiplication. Magkahiwalay pa sila, hindi sila magkadikit. So, we can solve them together. So, this is 12 and this is 4. I-bring down mo lang si 3 plus 3 minus 4. Ngayon, ang next is addition or subtraction. Kung alin ang mauna sa dalawa, nauna ang, sub ang addition. So, we will do addition first. 12 plus 3, that is 15, minus 4, and that is 11. So, ang answer dito ay 11. Number 5. Mayroon tayong subtraction at division of fraction. Isulat muna natin yung steps para hindi tayo malito muna sa steps. First, ang division mas higher siya sa subtraction. So, unahin muna natin ang division. Ang tanong. Itong 1 over 2 or 1 half, division din yan, di ba? Division din yan. Pero ang tanong, ano ang difference ng slash na to versus sa itong ganito? Itong slash na to, tinatawag na solidus. Ito naman, obelus ang tawag nito. Pag sila magkasama, ibig sabihin, nag-divide tayo ng fraction, fraction ito. Isang buo. Ibig sabihin, mas higher si solidus kaysa ni obelus. Fraction divided by fraction. So, mag-apply tayo ng how dividing fraction. So, 1 half divided by 1 half, although it is obviously 1, kasi pareho lang siya, nag-divide lang siya ng the same na value. Pero ipakita natin kung paano yung regarding dyan. So, itong si division magiging multiplication. Reciprocal ng 1 half, that is 2 over 1. So, 2 over 2, and that is 1. So, ang answer dito ay 1. So, 3 minus 1 equals Two. So, ang answer niya ay 2. Again, para mas klaro lang. 1 half divided by 1 half. 1 na siya. Pero para maklaro lang, itong division magiging multiplication at si 1 half, ang reciprocal niya ay 2 over 1. 1 times 2, 2. 2 times 1 is 2. And then 2 over 2 is 1. So, ito equals 1. So, bali 3 minus 1, the answer is Two. 1 divided by 2 divided by 1 divided by 2 is equivalent to 1 half divided by 1 half. The answer is false. 1 divided by 2, that is, uh, mo na natin lahat. So, 1 divided by 2, that is 0. 0.5. Divided by 1, that is 0. 0.5 pa rin. Divided by 2, and that is Point twenty-five. So, ito, ang answer niya ay point twenty-five. So, meaning, kahit pariho silang division, kapag pinagsama sila ang slash at saka yung obelus, mas higher ang slash. Calculator muna tayo. 1 divided by 2, divided by 1, divided by 2. And the answer is point twenty-five. Now, ito tayo sa 1 half. Then, divided by 1 half is equals to 1. So, hindi sila magkapareha. Now, let's ask Google. So, 1 divided by 2, divided by 1, divided by 2. And his answer is 0.25. Next is yung 1 half. Asan yun? Ito. 1 half divided by 1 half is 1. Number 7, 1 fourth times 100 plus 1 fourth times 100. This is a fraction, multiplication, and addition. So, isulat natin yung mga steps. Wala siyang parenthesis. Meron man siyang parenthesis, pero na-solve na siya. 100 na siya. Hindi, wala ka nang pwedeng isolve dyan. So, hindi natin considered si parenthesis dito. Kasi ang parenthesis dito ay considered as multiplication. Wala siyang exponent. Pero yung i natin dito, 
sa order of operation, yung second step dito ay hindi lang exponent. Yung mga orders niya, yung example, yung square root niya, or in this case is fraction. So, ang fraction, siya yung unahin muna natin. In other words, 0.25 times 100 plus 0.25 times 100. So, inuna natin yung fraction. At ito ay 25 plus 25. So, ang answer niya ay 50. Another solution. Itong fraction na to, multiplied by 100. Paano mag-multiply ng fraction to 100? Numerator to numerator. Itong 100, may imaginary na 1 yan na denominator. Lahat ng whole number, mayroon siyang o imaginary na 1 as denominator. So, 1 times 100, that is 100. 4 times 1, that is 4. So, 100 divided by 4, and that is 25. So, dalawang 25, your answer will be 50. Number 8, 1 over 4 times 100 plus 1 over 4 times 100. Sa steps mayroon tayong, isulat muna natin yung steps natin. Parenthesis or brackets or groupings. Mayroon tayong brackets dito. Ginugroup siya. So, ibig sabihin, yan yung unahin natin. 4 times 100, that is 400. 4 times 100, that is 400. Para klaro, ra, klaro lang, that is 1 over 400 plus 1 over 400. So, pwede na natin i-add siya kasi pariho naman ang denominator. So, pag mag-add tayo, kopyahin lang yung denominator at ang i-add natin ay ang numerator and that is 2 over 400. I-list natin siya, so that will be 1 over 200. Kasi i-divide natin ang 2, that will be 1. That, yan yung greatest common factor niya. 400 divided by 2, that is 200. So, ang answer natin ay letter D. Number 9, 7 over 8 minus 1 fourth times 1 half. So, isulat muna natin yung steps natin para mayroon tayong guide. Una, lahat sila fraction. So, pareho lang sila, pata sila. Dito tayo mag-focus sa operations niya na uh, subtraction at saka yung multiplication. Ang nauna ay multiplication. Bago ang subtraction. So, unahin natin si multiplication. 1 times 1, mag-multiply ka ng fraction, is numerator to numerator, and then denominator to denominator. So, 1 times 1, that is 1. 4 times 2 is 8. So, ang answer dito ay 1 over 8. Ngayon, pwede na natin isubtract ang dalawa. 7 over 8 minus 1 over 8. Pariho ang denominator. So, pwede nating isolve, isolve na siya. Kopyahin lang ang denominator. Kung mag-add at subtract tayo, kopyahin lang ang denominator. Same denominator dapat. Now, same ang denominator niya, kaya kopyahin lang natin siya. Ang isold natin, ang isubtract natin ay yung numerator lang. So, 7 minus 1, that is 6. And 6 over 8 is equals to 3 fourth. Kasi ang greatest common factor nila ay 2. So, 6 divided by 2, that is 3. 8 divided by 2, that is 4. So, ang answer ay letter C. Number 10. Nandito lahat ang mga operations niya except sa exponents at saka wala rin ditong fraction. Sulat muna natin yung mga steps para guide natin yan. Dito sa unang grupo, mas nauna ang multiplication kaysa division. So, unahin natin ang multiplication kasi whichever comes first man. 4 times 6, that is 24, divided by 2, and that is 12. I bring down mo lang yung dalawa na yan. 12 plus 3 minus 12. Ngayon, addition and subtraction, kung alin ang mauna sa kanila, nauna ang addition. So, unahin natin yan. That is 15 minus 12, that is 3. So, sa unang uh, groupings, 3 ang answer. Dito sa pangalawang grupo, Nauna ang division kaysa multiplication. So, according sa rule, whichever comes first sa dalawa, kasi rank equally lang sila. 12 divided by 2, that is 6. 6 times 6, that is 36. So, i-down mo lang yung 4 minus 3 plus 36. Last na steps, kung alin ang mauna, addition or subtraction, nauna ang subtraction dito. So, unahin natin si subtraction before sa addition. 
4 minus 3, that is 1, plus 36, that is 37. Addition. So, 3 plus 37, that is 40. So, ang answer dito ay letter B, 40. Number 11. So, mayroon na tayong exponent din dito. Dalawang set ito. Unahin natin dito. Sa loob ng parenthesis ang unahin natin. Ilisulat muna natin yung steps para may guide tayo. Parenthesis. Sa loob ng parenthesis, this is 8. Exponent of 2. So, 8 times 8, that is 64. So, 64 yan. I-down mo yung plus. Sa loob ng parenthesis, unahin yung multiplication kasi mas higher siya sa subtraction kasi ang nandito na operation ay subtraction at saka multiplication. 5 times 9, that is 45. By 8 minus 45, and this is negative 37. Si negative 37, 64 plus negative 37, or 64 minus 37, pariho lang yan. Unlike signs sila, so mag-deduct tayo. And this is 27. Mas higher ang, ang value nitong 64 kaysa nito. Positive si 64. Kaya ang answer natin ay positive 27. So, letter A. Number 12. 5 divided by 5 minus 5 plus 5 multiply by 5. Apat ang operations natin. Isulat muna natin yung steps natin para masanay kayo. So, walang parenthesis. Okay? Walang exponent. Okay? Multiplication or division. Kung alin ang mauna. Dito naman, magkahiwalay sila. So, pwede mo siyang ipagsabay. 5 divided by 5, that is 1. 5 times 5, that is 25. I-down mo yan. Minus 5 plus itong 25. So, ito na ang operations mo. 1 minus 5 plus 25. Ngayon, sa fourth step, addition or subtraction. Kung alin ang mauna sa kanila. Nauna ang subtraction ko. So, unahin mo yung subtraction. And 1 minus 5, that is negative 4 plus 25, and that is 21. Kasi unlike sign siya, so mag-minus ka, tapos ang pinaka-highest na value niya ay yung 25, positive 25, so positive 21. So ang answer ay letter E, or ang previous na given ko, wala sa choices. Otherwise, ang answer niyo ay 21. Tingnan natin sa calculator kung pariho ba. So, minus 5, plus 5 times 5, and the answer is 21. Number 13, halos magkapariho lang sa previous na questions. Isulat muna natin yung steps. Walang parenthesis, walang exponent, pero mayroong multiplication at division. Ang rule dito, kung alin ang mauna. Nauna ang division, so unahin natin. Pero sa pagkakataong ito, pariho lang din sa previous na question. Hindi sila magkatabi, so pwede natin ipagsabay ang dalawa. 5 divided by 5, that is 1. 5 times 5, that is 25. So, i-down mo lang yung 0 at ganyan. Ngayon, addition or subtraction, kasi ang operation natin ngayon is subtra uh, subtraction at saka yung addition. Kung alin ang mauna yan, yung rule, na una ang subtraction, so yun ang unahin natin. 1 minus 0, that is 1 plus 25, and that is 26. So, ang answer dito ay letter C. I-double check natin sa calculator kung sasang-ayon ba si calculators. Okay, 5 times minus 0 plus 5 times 5, and the answer is 26. Number 14. So, nandito na naman lahat ng mga operations niya, except lang sa parenthesis at exponents. Sulat natin yung step, parenthesis, exponent, M or D, A or S. Walang parenthesis, walang exponent. So, proceed tayo sa third step, multiplication or division. Alin ang nauna dyan? Division ang nauna. So, unahin natin yan. 6 divided by 3, that is 2. Times 2, and that is 4. So, i-down natin lahat yan. 9, 7 plus 4, and then plus 1 times 0. Klaruhin lang natin, ha? 9 minus 7 plus 4. Yan, maganda na. Ngayon, 9 minus 7 plus 4 plus 1 times 0. May multiplication pa siya. So, unahin natin si multiplication. And this is 0. I-down mo lang lahat yung ibang numbers. And then, subtraction at saka addition lang ang natira. Yan yung fourth step. 
Kung alin ang mauna, nauna ang subtraction. So, unahin natin sa subtraction. And this is 2. Plus 4 plus 0. So, ito na lang. Puro na addition. And this is 6. 2 plus 4 plus 0, 6. So, ang sagot dito sa number 14 ay 6. Pagdin natin ito sa calculator. 9, 7 plus 6 divided by 3 times 2 plus 1 times 0. And the answer is 6. Number 15. Which of the following is true about PEMDAS? A. PEMDAS is the only accepted acronym for order of operation. This is not true. Kasi mayroon pa po tayong BODMAS. Mayroon pang GEMDAS. Mayroon pang BEDMAS. At minention ko to lahat sa bago tayo nag-umpisa dito. Mayroon pang gems. So, marami yan. Letter B. PEMDAS and MDAS is not the same. Mali rin yan. Kasi, yung rules ang pinag-usapan natin dito, pariho lang yan. Walang pinagkaiba, kaya the same lang din. Ang pinagkaiba lang dyan ay wala itong P at saka E. Kaya, nag-shortcut lang tayo ng MDAS. But actually, yung MDAS dito at saka ito, pariho lang yan. Kaya, hindi rin yan. Letter C. The rule of PEMDAS is parenthesis first, then exponent before we will proceed with multiplication, then division, then addition, and last is subtraction. That is why it is called PEMDAS. That is wrong po. Kasi mayroon tayong tinatawag na left to right at itong multiplication at division, pariho lang yan. At saka si addition at subtraction, pariho lang yan. And then, may karugtong pang that is why it is called PEMDAS is wrong. Yeah, tinawag siya na PEMDAS para hindi natin makalimutan ang pagkasunod-sunod nito na rule. P, E, M, D, at A, S. Letter D ang tamang sagot dito. PEMDAS is an acronym that has only four steps. Parenthesis. Solve inside the parentheses, according pa rin sa rule. Tapos, exponents or anything na mga orders dyan, yung mga square root dyan. And then, either multiplication or division, whichever comes first, from left to right. And add or subtract, whichever comes first. Ito yung tamang sagot.